Hey guys, Skelly Crafter here, and today we blend in style. Oh yeah, that's right, I did it again. And today, we are going to learn how to put our Minecraft world into Blender without having to model every single damn thing. Because just imagine trying to model a whole entire Minecraft world in Blender. That would take, like, like so long. It's just, like, not even imaginable. And that's why we have programs that can directly export from your Minecraft world, your in-game Minecraft world, all the way to your Blender, where you could, you know, animate some characters in there. I don't know what you want to do. You can make them do things in their bedroom and stuff. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. So, today we're going to be learning how to do that using a program called Mineways, an open source program to be exact, just like Blender. Ooh la la. I think we have a perfect match here. Blender and Mineways. The best two combination. Either way, I think that's enough rambling for now. Let's get started. So, the first things you're gonna need Minecraft, which I have not opened up, so I'm gonna open up right now. Minecraft, right here. Blah, 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 blah. Oh no, everything has gone down. <laughs> Minecraft, right here. Everything is going to crap already. It's all falling apart. This is so, like, professional. So, you need Minecraft, you know, play a game. You have to have a world in Minecraft, obviously, if you want to export it. And then you're also going to need Mineways. So, get to this website, realtimerendering.com. And actually, now that I think about it, you also need to have Erich, Minecraft, Public, and Mineways. Because I think this website alone just takes you to a different website, I'm pretty sure. Let me just go right Yeah, It takes you to a different website. So, you're going to have to go to the Mineways part. And then... After that, you've gone to this link. I'll put it in the description just so I can make your life easier. Because my life was not easy. I actually had to go on the wiki for Minecraft stuff. And I had to look up how to do this. So I'm making it easy for you guys. I'm making it easy for you to export your world from Minecraft all the way into Blender. So now that you're in this website, go to download. Download for PC. And after that's done, it's just going to prompt you to download it and then it'll just say it's downloading down here. Unless, of course, you have Internet Explorer, which I have no clue how to do. Because who would know how to do Internet Explorer? Internet Explorer is like, so, ah, I don't know. Okay, just switch to Chrome, please. For the sake of, like, humanity, just switch to Chrome. Anyway, Mineways will appear down here and then, you know, it'll be there. You may need WinRAR or, like, a 7-zip or something to um, unzip the file. But I'm pretty sure you can just do that in normal windows as well. So anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to open up mineways.zip now. And I'm going to drag it onto the screen. So this is what's going to look like when you open up mineways.zip. Uh, it's going to look different if you're not using WinRAR, of course. But it will have all these files in it. So I'm just going to full screen this. So yeah, it's going to have all these files in here. The main ones you need to concentrate on is mineways.exe. Or Mineways 32. If your um, operating system is 32-bit, I suggest you do 32.exe. Um, if you don't know what it is, do 32.exe. But because I know that my operating system is 64-bit, um, I can use Mineways. I might be going a bit too fast here. I'm sorry, guys. So, open it up. You'll extract the file. Then you click Run. So here's Mineways. Not much right now. I'm going to click File. I'm going to open a world. And I'm going to do... Mineplex Shattered Kingdom, because I have that map. And it's going to pop up like this. Now, if you want to do the same thing, all you have to do is click on File, and then click Open World. Ugh, I can't get it. I'm going to click Open World, and then it will just show all your worlds in your Minecraft here. If you want to open a world that's not in your Minecraft, so like you can't access it in Minecraft, you want to get it from somewhere else, just click Open. But I suggest use the Open World, because it will show all the worlds that you have here. So... Now that we're in Mineways, well, this is the part where we can choose what we want. So this is the center. Uh, I don't know what it's called exactly. The corner of Copia or something like that. I don't remember. How am I supposed to know? And I just, like, I want this area. I want the middle area, right? So I'm going to, okay, get away from me. You are not important yet. So you're going to, okay, you can move around, left click to move around, right? Like this. And then right click to choose the area that you want. So here. Right click, hold, drag, I want this area, let go. And this is the area that will come. Now the lower depth is how low it is. See, the more vertices you have on your screen, the more faces, the laggier it gets in Blender. So if you have a powerful computer, bleh, but you don't really need it, do you? So turn it back up to like 60 or 50. I usually like to go around 5 blocks under the whole entire thing just to make sure that I got 
every single block under. Because sometimes for water, it will just copy the water above, but it won't copy it under. So that makes it like the water is floating in midair. Which is not good. So you will usually want to do it lower. So this is just a 62. If I make it bigger, you can see that it starts to like disappear, the pink stuff. The pink stuff is like saying what will be copied into the file. By the way, we're going to um, export this as an OBJ file. I'll explain it to you later. So just drag it down until like, you know, whatever you want. The, this is the max height. So like if you want to like get some sort of height like this, I don't know why you would. And then, yeah, stuff. Oh, you can like see caves and stuff like that here. That's pretty cool. What? Okay. Anyway, so yeah. After you've chosen your area, so I want to choose this area. I'm going to click File. And then I'm going to click Export for Rendering. You could also export for 3D Printing. Or you can export for Schematic, which is for MC Edit. And 3D Printing, well, if you want to print it out in real life. Which, this is not the video you should be looking at. You should probably be looking at another video. Because we're going to export for rendering. So we're going to click this button. Uh, copy wherever to... Uh, this is an animation that I'm working on. I'm just going to name this. Tutorial. And I'm going to find uh, the blending in style. Where's blending in style? Ah, oh, there it is. And I'm going to go to tutorials. I'm going to go to here. And it's going to save it at... Now you can save it as other files. But I recommend OBJ. Absolute not relative. It's gonna be like that by default anyway, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. Name it whatever you want, save it, and ta-da, it's gonna have a model export dialog. Now this is like basically you don't really need to know this. The main things you need to know is uh up here, so this is like the coordinates that you've selected. You don't if you can like see it visually here, so you don't really need to look at this. But the main thing you want to focus on is individual blocks. Because you can actually ins export like one block at a time so you can export a stone block and then a stone block right next to it but you, if you don't do that it's just gonna model it out as one flat material to save um you know GPU usage to make your rendering time smaller so it's gonna do it as one which at you know it, it's good it's good to do that if you're not gonna have like any moving parts in the scene So like if you have um like you want something to blow up and you want all the blocks to get out you want to click individual blocks but at the same time it will make your file size massive not massive but like significant significantly larger and plus it will be more laggy um to bring into the scene because blender does not like importing stuff i don't know why it just lags a lot so i'm just gonna leave it at this settings this is 3d printing you don't need it and you don't really need that either and you're just gonna click OK and then it will load at the bottom and ta-da! we finished. So now that we've finally finished exporting this uh, OBJ file we can finally head over to Blender. Thank God, it's been a long time. I've missed you Blender. I missed everything about you, all your non-anti-aliasing edges um, etc etc. And now we can just import the file. So this is just the default file just in case you don't believe me, I'll go new, reload startup file. This is the default file. I'm going to click X, delete the cube, hit 1, hit 5. And I'm going to click import OBJ, hooray. Ah, get away from me. Um, we're going to hit Minecraft Blender, blending and style, tutorial, setting up your first one. And then there'll be two files. Now, I believe this is the texture file, so you don't want to delete it. And this is the tutorial OBJ, which is 6.8 megabytes. I'm going to import it, and now it's going to lag. Okay, now that it's imported, oh damn, okay, I'm gonna click 5 again, and now this is something I like to do, because my rigs are based on, um, what's it called, one um, metric, so you don't need to do this right now, um, one pixel on my skin is like one of these boxes, so I'm, I found that like a good resting position for like how big this is, should be 16, so I'm gonna click S, and then do 16, you can or can't, you don't have to, but you should do this. So I'm going to um, pull from the Z axis, right? That is the Z, right? Yeah, Z axis. I'm going to just pull it down so it's like this. And this is the world. Now, it does look pretty bland at the moment. And, well, that's because we haven't really optimized it. So I'm just going to click Control S and I'm going to save it into Blending and Style Tutorial. Setting up your first world. 
uh, setting up first world tut um uh g there okay save blender file and i'm going to hit control s because i'm addicted to do that, to doing that now if you haven't used blender before i suggest that you go and look up how to use the ui and stuff because this will be like you know uh, a bit thick um, you could say like beginner level like slightly more than beginner level but I'll, I'll tell you like the controls anyway so you use middle mouse to like turn around and then you control sh uh, shift and middle mouse to like move like this uh, use the middle mouse to zoom in zoom out I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do that uh, this will take a bit of getting used to uh, right click to like you know move stuff left click it used like points to 3d cursor and I guess if you're like looking at the axis right here then I'll move it as well but anyway that's basically the extremely basic uh, controls okay guys so I got the screencast keys working up in the bottom left corner so you can see what I'm actually doing with my mouse it's so like if I right click left click and stuff like that so that's pretty cool so now I'm gonna hit zero as you can see in the bottom left corner I don't really need to shift F I'm just gonna position my camera let's just say um, I want to hmm, I want to look at this beautiful thing so I'm gonna do that and th this has started to disappear here's something you want to fix just change the clipping to a thousand and if there's even more stuff just turn it even higher but you know a thousand and the focal length uh, what what a good focal length to me would be um, I usually would use 24 because it's actually pretty good but you know you could use whatever you want I guess whatever doesn't make you feel sick and then press F12, uh, I did not press F12 though, I pressed scroll lock because I'm a genius. Ugh. And you got this boring pile of arse. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to fix that. So, get this lamp, we don't need this lamp, it looks ugly, so, you know, delete it. And we're gonna wanna do something in the text editor right now. So this is the text editor, I've loaded up the blender mindways.py, which actually you find in here. This is actually the PY file. Now I tell you how it, I tell you how to get there. You have to go to click a text editor and then click on open a new text data block and then find it, locate it, click on it, and then it'll load this up. So original script by Nikki, heavily modified by blah blah blah. And then what you want to do is click run script. And now it's set up everything for you. So now it should look nice. It should look relatively nice. Yeah, pretty good, right? I mean, look at that. I mean, there's floating blocks everywhere, which is, uh, you know, not ideal. I mean, I'm just going to leave it like that for now because it's, like, not really necessary to learn. So, yeah, guys, this is how you get, like, a basic world in Blender, how you get your basic Minecraft world. And if you want to also see this, um, like, textures in the viewport, not only, like, when... Okay, so I just pressed F11 to get into this area. If like you also want to see textures in this part area, you press N as you can see, and click textured solid and G O S L to get best results. So this is what it looks like. It is laggier. I'm gonna do this thing that you don't really need to know. And so yeah, this is how you make a basic world. Now there is like you know thing things you could do to make it better but I'm only gonna teach you how to do the bare essentials and yeah maybe in a later tutorial I'll tell you how to do a better like world like modifications to make it look good better but this is how you basically get it in so as you can see here here's the render of this place it keeps resetting I don't know why it is yeah there's not really much else to say this is how you do it thank you for watching don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my other channel, Skelly Crafter. It's a gaming channel. And yeah, hope you learned something. And thank you for watching. I'm just going to talk over the outro so, you know, they don't catch me with the stupid YouTube copyright thing. I mean, seriously, I don't even like having the thing, like, look, I don't even know. You know what? Let's just end it.